Hey everybody, welcome back to Bar Run Forge, Bar Run Farm. Today we are planting corn. We've got the Deutz Alice 7110 rocking and rolling, all cleaned up, ready to go. We've got our Deutz Alice 385 planter all set. We have done just tons of work to this machine here in the spring and uh, just ran a test run. All the rows are dropping seed, the sensors and the, the uh, monitor in the cab is working fine. The blowers are working good. We're ready to plant corn, so let's get at it. So we are in the Deutz Alice 7110 with our Deutz Alice 385 planter. Uh, it's an air planter and it runs uh, where it blows the seed into the seed plates and then the seed plates rotate and drop it into a tube. And the tube has a sensor that tells me whether that seed is dropping or not. So what <laughs> the spring has held has been a whole lot of fun because uh, that did not work for us last year. In fact, we had skipped rows. We had rows in our corn and our beans last year where the planter wasn't planting, and I didn't know it because the monitor didn't tell me. And our good buddy Travis, shout out to Travis from Ohio Ag Equipment, came and spent a good deal of time here, studied up on the book, and he and I together came up with the solution and we are now planting corn. All things are fully functional, and uh, that excites me tremendously. I I'm glad to have this machine going. It's been a bit of a struggle, uh, but I'll tell you something. This machine, these two items, this 7110 Deutz Alice and the 385 planter are designed for each other. Uh, this is a great setup. Now, it's not the fancy, uh, precision planters that some of the other guys run. Uh, but again, it's a 1985 model. It's got a, got a nice monitor on it. It's got the quadra disc uh, uh, planter set up, the planter units, and uh, just creates such a neat uh, row and packs it down in. You can hardly tell you even planted. Uh, got the firming wheels, the closing disc, and uh, row cleaner. So it gets the debris out of the way of the front of the, of the planter so that the planter can make a nice even drop. And, uh, and then it actually floats with the soil on each unit very nicely. So this, this is just fantastic for me. I'm excited about this. Uh, it has been a struggle. I've been out here beating and banging on stuff and, and trying to make sure that this thing is gonna work. Uh, <laughs> just to fill you in, this machine, uh, other than current repairs and parts cost me $850 to purchase. That's it. So I did not go out and, and I could just couldn't justify spending tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars on a planter. And we picked this planter. You guys already know I love the Deutz Alice stuff. It's great engineering. And, uh, and, and I picked it because it was an eight-row planter. We had an eight-row corn head for our uh, old Glen, and so that was the idea run the eight rows planted and eight rows on the uh, on the corn header so with that being said this is an ideal setup for these two items to go together so I'm gonna turn around and we're working on the end rows right now which means a lot of turning, <laughs> a lot of maneuvering back and forth, and then the planter marker, you can tell, it's saying, hey, you're moving, but you're not planting. So it's warning me that I need to get back to, back to work and back to planting, and i got to drop the, drop it down, actuate the marker. You'll see that marker goes down, but that's not the marker I need. The marker I need is this one over here, so I have to pick it back up. Drop it back down. It's got a little actuator switch in it. Switches over to the other marker. And that did that. And we're back in business. And so we'll do three rounds around the field. That'll give us 24 rows. 
that allows me to go three times around the field with the combine uh, and then open up the field, we're good to go. Uh, we had stopped planting corn for a long time and uh, corn prices were getting higher but the problem is seed prices and fuel prices just it was it was cost prohibitive and now corn prices have kind of come back and we want to diversify the kinds of crops that we put out so we decided to go ahead we had even sold the corn planter and uh, so you know we didn't even have a corn planter to plant with so when we got this planter This put a smile on my face. This put a smile on my face because I was happy to... I, my dad loved planting corn. and loved raising corn. And so I was excited to get back into it and plant corn again. Now we decided to go ahead and plant in our triticale that we planted last fall. So we decided to go ahead and plant right over the top of that. And what that'll do, you hush. What that'll do is allow us to uh, come in with a herbicide and kill the triticale, and then come straight back uh, in here and put the corn. And we're putting the corn in now. But what that allows us to do is also. Uh, get the nitrogen from the triticale. The nitrogen will actually put the, uh, the triticale will put nitrogen back into the soil, and that is very crucial for raising corn. And we're, we're kind of treating this as no-till. This is not necessarily a no-till planter, uh, but the way the quadra disc is set up, it plants like it's a no-till. Uh, it really doesn't require no-till coulters and doesn't require all that. With the uh, row cleaners, that gives me the opportunity to uh, just simply drive. I mean, this is soft soil. We're going in right over top of the triticale and uh, it just makes it so much nicer to not have to worry about that. It's not, it's not no-till but it's no-till. Uh, so literally, the other thing that the triticale has done for us is, I'm looking right now where we planted the triticale in a couple spots where we didn't. There are no other weeds. The triticale has kept the other weeds completely at bay. And uh, so this will help immensely with our weed control here in the corn. That's another thing I'm excited about with this machine. So I'm sure right now uh, Eli has also picked up his camera and done some vlogging to kind of fill you in on what's going in on the farm. preempted our uh, Thursday night live stream and did not do a live stream tonight because 
we've got weather coming in. We had this entire week has been absolutely gorgeous, and I've spent all day, every day, trying to get ready to get to this point and wait as long as we possibly can uh, to get to get into the field. And uh, so, you know, we got rain as a possibility tomorrow and Saturday. This is on a Thursday night, and uh, I just I told Eli. You know, time is money, make hay while the sun shines, all those kind of fun uh, sayings that everybody knows. So we're going to go ahead and, and get it in the ground. And if we can get the corn planted here on this 16 acres, then uh, I can just take about 20 minutes and switch over to bean plates and uh, it, with being an air planter. And we can do 30 inch row beans literally in the field right over there and just keep moving. We can, we can keep on planting. And, uh, you know, there's a possibility, it's now April 13th, there's a possibility we can be done by April 15th, which is such a, uh, first of all, it's a rarity, and second, it's a huge blessing. And at that point, we can, I'm going to say sit back, but that allows us to then turn everything over to, to hay and wheat uh, and straw. All our energies fo focus on that, and so this this is this is huge to be able to get in here and do this. And there's a lot of guys right now all around us pushing really hard uh, to get their crops in the ground as well, and so we're you know we're definitely lifting them up in prayer. Hopefully they can all be safe and get it all done. The only challenge I'm running into right now, my marker is not cutting real deep. So I'm not getting a real clean mark uh, in this triticale. So I'm really, really struggling trying to find my marker. And that was a good ditch that I put in last fall, which has helped us tremendously. But man, oh man, what a joy this is to be out here. Uh, when things are working good and uh, you can just come out here on a gorgeous day that God has created, man, it's just, it's just nothing better. Absolutely nothing better. Well, we aren't going to do a whole lot of, I won't say vlogging on this one, but uh, I did want to bring you guys along to show you the in-cab perspective of planting corn. Uh, last year's corn didn't quite do as good as we wanted it to, but on the on the other side of things, uh, you may remember, we didn't use any, and I mean none, fertilizer. We put no nitrogen on, we used zero fertilizer, sprayed it once, and uh, still got 137 bushel of the acre corn. Now for a lot of guys, that is a horrible year. That's a terrible, terrible yield. But for us, we were trying to count costs and I just, I could not justify the amount of money it would take. Yeah, I mean, I could, we could have got 200, 250 bushel corn but it would have cost us tremendously. And so I, was, I just was not prepared to do that. And in the process, we got 137, almost 138 bushel per acre of corn with no nitrogen. So our cost literally was one spray and seed and fuel. That was it. Uh, so we, we profited quite well off of that corn last year. When it's all said and done, our profit per acre was pretty good. Like I said, we could have done better on the harvest, uh, and you know, uh, Old Glen. There were some things I could have done to Old Glen to make the harvest a little cleaner, a little better. Uh, but that's the first time I'd ever shelled corn with Glen, Old Glen, and uh, you know, you, you you learn a whole lot. We're back. Now we're back. Okay. See right there, gave me a failure, so I, 
thankful for that monitor. So anyway, I'm going to shut this off and uh, we'll, we'll get a couple other perspectives on the planting here in just a minute. Well, normally I'd be doing a seed run with the uh, Bobcat, but as you'll see here in a minute, and per our usual with anything going on on the farm, equipment breaks down, issues, things like that. So I'm in the truck, go get some seed. There she is, Bobcat sitting there uh, running out of diesel fuel. Well, it was a late night and uh, we finally got our corn planted. Uh, there's a possibility some of the rows may not line up exactly where they're supposed to line up. Uh, but all the corn is in the ground. The planter did uh, a great job. We had a few little hiccups and uh, we were able to diagnose them real quickly. Uh, really no major shutdowns for the, for the day. So I'm pretty excited. I mean, <laughs> we really, uh, struggled with getting the, the planter set and ready to go for corn planting this year and uh, now it's done and the, the great part is we give God the increase you know we let him take care of it and uh, you know the field is is planted it's ready to go it'll, it'll have some spray on it uh, I think we'll just have to do it one time I'm really excited about uh, seeing what the evidence of the triticale does the uh, nitrogen that's left in the soil from the triticale so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about just having that done and, and getting some success. And it, and it sometimes is a struggle. It's kind of hard sometimes to, uh, to kind of find those successes when you're, when you're beating and banging, you know, crawling underneath this thing and getting greasy and dirty and banged up and uh, it's not seeing things work. Uh, but again, big shout out to Travis over at Ohio Ag Equipment. Uh, we'll put a link up uh, in, in the description to Ohio Ag Equipment. They've done a great job for us and they continue to do a great job for us. And uh, when we talk about facing those struggles and facing those battles and, and persevering or enduring through those, those battles, those struggles, and we're not done yet. Uh, we still yet to plant our soybeans and uh, hopefully today we're gonna do that. So I have to switch everything over on the planter uh, to do that. But that reminds me of the verse from James chapter one Verse two, it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance or endurance. Perseverance must finish its work. In the New Living Translation, it says, let it grow. I love that. Finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And then it goes on to talk about if you lack something, Ask God for it, but ask God with a pure faith, a faith in Him and Him alone. Guys, thank you so much. We enjoy so much when you come in here and enjoy our videos and watch our videos. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, do all the things you're supposed to do. 
here on, uh, <laughs> on Bar Run Forge that helps the channel out. Uh, hopefully we've been able to help you out a little bit and just spend some time with us here on the farm and uh, join us for more videos. Our farming season here in 2023 has just begun. So thanks for coming in. God bless and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.